Hi folks, thanks for taking the time to watch this very short explainer video on how to access the platform and of course how to access the seminar or the session that you are going to present in. As you've uh, received the, the link to join the platform and you've clicked uh, and joined ultimately the floor uh, virtual event uh, platform for the Smart Labs uh, event, you should end up in this location uh, right here in front of you, which is a 3D graphic of the uh, the entrance to the auditorium or the conference center. You can see a number of the little icons pulsing away. These also correspond to what you see over on the left hand side. So the, the one that you want to click into is the conference. So you can either click it from here or come over to the left hand side and that will open up the list of all of the sessions, all of the seminars and round tables that are running uh, at the event. It's just a simple case of finding the one that you are part of or you are going to present in and click and, uh, and join us. And what should happen from there is your camera will automatically come live uh, and of course uh, your microphone will open. Each of the sessions uh, on the event has two parts to it. It has what's called a backstage area. So you'll notice this little sign here in the bottom left corner that is a sign to tell you that you are backstage it's not a button to click it's not it's something that will take you backstage you are already here as you join your session you automatically end up backstage and the reason for that is that so you can come here early you can get yourself prepared in the zone you can test your camera you can test your microphone you can perhaps uh, test sharing of your screen and loading your powerpoint presentation but essentially you can just get yourself good to go come the time when the session is about to go live because come that time on event day when it's time for your session to start then you will need to click this green go live button and once you've done that you'll get this five second countdown which you can see uh, right now uh, and of course any second now camera will go live again microphone will open but you'll notice this time in the bottom left corner it tells you that you are live it tells you that you are being recorded and you'll notice that green go live button has now changed to go backstage so when you're finished presenting you can click that and go back to where you started out but essentially this is where you are live in front of your audience and unlike zoom or unlike teams what you'll not see is lots of individual video boxes uh, with everybody on the session just ready for you to start the only person that's going to be live is going to be you or other panel members if it's a panel discussion that you've joined everybody else is in the audience watching and listening and you can easily find out how many people will be there watching and listening by looking at this figure here using this little eye symbol at the moment it says one that one is me come event day i'm sure it will be a, a lot more than that if you wanted to check out who the audience were you can come over to these tabs over here on the right uh, the audience tab click on it and it will display all of the profiles of everybody that's in the audience watching you Okay, so once you're, you're live in front of your audience, well, what can you do? Well, ultimately, that's the time that if you're going to be presenting on your own, then you're going to want to share your screen and, of course, uh, share with your audience your presentation. Process is very, very simple to do. Uh, you'll notice a, a number of icons across the bottom of the screen here, a, a mute, unmute button, a camera on, off button, and a screen share button. And when you click screen share, you get another window that opens and of course you'll see that this looks very similar to uh, to what you may have seen on teams and it gives you three offerings you can either share your entire screen you can share your window or a particular application or you can share a chrome tab and if uh, what i would advise if you're going to share a powerpoint and in that powerpoint you've got some audio embedded or you've got some uh, videos embedded then make a point of clicking on share audio as well as the application but ultimately when you click on the window if you've got your powerpoint already open you'll be able to click on it uh, which will highlight the share button uh, and of course you can click on share and off you go i don't have a powerpoint presentation open so i can't show you that but if i come back to entire screen i do have a second monitor if i click on my second monitor you can see the moment i click on it the share button is illuminated and once i click on share then a second window opens uh, and as you can see automatically it it puts me as a thumbnail in the top right hand corner and it makes what it is i've just shared the predominant image on the screen it's called pinning it pins the image to the screen it's very easy to unpin it which i've just done and there you have the two video boxes side by side me being in one your shared presentation in the other and of course it's very easy to pin myself 
uh, and send the, the the slides up to the right corner uh, like I've just done previously. So pin and unpin, great feature uh, if you want the focus to be on your slides or your presentation. Uh, when you're done presenting and you've, uh, you, you're finished with your presentation, then click on stop sharing. It gets rid of that extra uh, video box for you. And of course, now you're probably wondering where can, on earth can you get your interaction from? And uh, you'll notice over here on the right hand side, you've got a discuss tab and a Q and A tab. Uh, discuss is the place to post uh, where your audience will post any comments, observations or feedback. Uh, and of course, Q and A is the, the tab where your audience can post any direct questions and um, which you can uh, obviously answer uh, when you are finished presenting. Uh, that's it. When you are done presenting on event day uh, and you've dealt with all of your questions and your time is up, you simply click on go backstage and it will take you back to where you started out uh, backstage. There's your little backstage sign to tell you that's where you are and that's where you ended up. And of course, you can then move on to the rest of the conference uh, and head along to any of the other sessions that's taking place. And if you join them, it'll put you in the audience as a delegate. So any help, any assistance, you can track me down using the support tab, but otherwise uh, we'll have a quick catch up in advance of event day and uh, we will also meet again on event day itself. So thank you for watching and we'll speak soon.